You're watching KTUU, Channel 2, Anchorage, Alaska's news source. And now, the Channel 2 News Hour from the state's number one news team. Mixing some silliness with some serious schoolwork, Pacific Northern Academy students take a unique approach to starting their day. Sometimes you just got to get silly. You do. You do. And, and, this, do. and this week's Spotlight on Youth, Corey Allen Young shows us how games and fun produce scholars. Uh -oh. Oh my God. At first glance, this doesn't look like your typical classroom setting. Yanchik. Matthew. Yanchik. <laughs> Harrop. Meridian Harrop. But when you listen in... The name's Harrop, Meridian Harrop. Organized chaos... <laughs> ...is actually a bridge... <laughs> ...to connect the students to their school. <laughs> Just ask eighth grader Meridian Harrop about the Pacific Northern Academy morning meeting. You can have some fun with your friends and it wakes you up and it gets you moving. Positive, responsive action and thoughts. Because is it a rare element? Teachers yeah. are required to do too. It's a beautiful morning. Pacific Northern Academy's Dale Evern says... It's social-emotional learning. You ready for a good day? That's jump-starting student engagement every moment of the day. They're willing to go out and speak in a classroom. They're not afraid to speak up amongst their peers. Not many people like math, and so it's kind of like a ooh. But uh, doing the morning meeting, it gets everybody excited because we get to play games and it gets our, like, blood pumping. Because you got to get the th mind thinking first and, and prepared to learn. An early shot of excitement. <laughs> It's giving students more tools in their toolbox to succeed inside and outside their school. Oh, I was going to switch with you. Reporting from Pacific Northern Academy, Corey Allen Young, Channel 2 News. We need to try that in the newsroom, Maria. <laughs> yes. What do you think? All right, the principal says families also participate in the responsive learning lessons that have produced great results. Last year, every single eighth grader ranked in the 90th percentile or above in their core subjects. The Lusak